Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. We're going through all the features and tools of Photoshop, and today we're taking a look at the clone stamp tool as well as the pattern stamp tool, which is a, it doesn't do much of anything, the pattern stamp tool, but it's so little. We're just going to throw it in with the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool, here's how it works. You hold down your alter option key, you sample a part of an image that you want to copy or clone, and you begin painting, and you can see it clones the exact bit of image right over there, basically taking whatever's underneath that little crosshair and painting it wherever you have your brush. All right, I'm going to undo that. Uh, let's talk about some of the features of this tool. We've got this control bar up here loaded with options. We can right click, change the size of our brush, change the hardness of our brush, even change the brush itself uh, depending on what you're looking to do with this tool brush. Uh, we have different blend modes that we can paint using. Uh, you can check them out and see what it does uh, for yourself. They're pretty simple. And they Honestly, you're probably not going to use them that, that often. It's much better to do something like create a new layer, clone up on this new layer, and then change the blend mode of the new layer. That way it's non-destructive. You can always change it back later if you decide to do that. Now, speaking of painting or cloning on a, on a new layer, um, we have this sample option up here of current layer, current and below, or all layers. I typically work with current and below because what that means is it's sampling not only from this layer but also any layers beneath it. And because I normally work from the top down, that meaning I have layer up on top and I'm you know cloning from everything beneath that. That's great. Uh, current and below is great because um, I'm able to work on this layer and clone or, you know, uh, sample from a, a lower layer like that. But all the painting is done up on this new layer. So if I want to get rid of it, I can shut the layer off or delete it or whatever um, I need to do. Other than that, you can paint. You can adjust the opacity of the brush, which basically is just the opaqueness of the bit that you're sampling. Flow works kind of like a can of spray paint. The longer you paint um, over something, like if you have flow set to 10% or 5%, the longer you paint over one area, finally that area will get to about 100% opacity. Um, I'm not going to mess around with flow too much here. The last important thing here is the aligned option. Um, if you turn on aligned, when you sample, let's say this little screw in the corner and you paint, it's going to paint exactly what you see there, uh, you know, and keep the image all together. And if I pick up painting over here, it's only a matter of time before I join the two, right? Because it's all aligned based on our original sample point of that top uh, right hand corner screw. If you untick aligned and let's say I sample that same little screw and I start painting, I get the screw in the corner of the camera. Then if I start painting again over here, I get the screw in the camera again and then again over here. So it basically just is always going to sample from that same exact point no matter where you are painting in your overall image. Now another cool thing you can do, I'm going to tick aligned back on. You can go to a different document and you can sample colors and things from that document. I'll just tell them my alt key and selected. And then you can go into your document and you can paint them in there just like that. So that's pretty cool. You can sample from other uh, images. Now, we also have the clone source panel, which is this little button here, or you can go window clone source, where you can save clone uh, source points as all of these different icons. Just select this. I'll hold on your alter option key, sample from there. And I'll select my next one. Maybe I'll sample from this little viewfinder. So here I can paint the viewfinder there. I can go back to this option here and I can paint it over here. Go back to like the viewfinder and you know I'm painting, painting, painting. So that's kind of neat, but not really something I use all that that much. The main thing about the clone source panel is this little rotation option here. This is great if you are um, working along the edge of somebody's chin or something like that. Let's say where you need to add or get rid of some rotation. Ignore the image rotating. It always kind of does that as a little heads up example. Let's say I sample this very straight edge here. You can see that it's automatically going to rotate the bit that's being cloned. This is great, like I said, for following anything that has a little bit of curve or angle to it. You can find the angle and you can keep, you know, working it around the angle and around the corner and around the corner uh, with each bit of cloning that you're doing until you have a perfectly cloned edge. So that's really super useful um, when you go and you start really using this clone stamp tool in practical applications. Now, you can reset the rotate by just hitting this little reset arrow, boom, back to zero degrees. Um, now, the pattern stamp tool is basically a tool that you use to paint pattern, just like the clone stamp tool, but you're not sampling anything, right? You just select a pattern that you want to paint. Let's go with like this yellow pattern, and uh, we'll just go ahead and start painting it. See? Boom. That's the that's the pattern stamp tool. You can change the blend mode, opacity, flow, all that good stuff. You can change a line. Oh, an impressionist mode. That's like somebody is painting but just took like a big blob brush and sort of started mixing all of the colors together. So there you have the pattern 
stamp tool as well. So the clone stamp tool in Photoshop, that's it. It's an incredibly powerful and useful tool, but for this one, uh, that's it for now. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutVid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.